Now we're constantly being told we'll all have to work until we drop, so it might be hard not to feel just a little bit envious of Olympic swimming champion Becky Adlington, because she's hanging up her goggles at the age of just 23. The swimmer who won two gold medals at the 2008 Olympics in Beijing with a double bronze at last summer's London Games, but despite being the most successful Olympic swimmer of her generation, she was mercilessly harassed on social media sites like Twitter about her appearance. And she's now begun a campaign to teach every child in the country to learn to swim before they leave primary school. Well, earlier I met Becky Adlington and asked her why 23 was the right retirement age. And it's just the nature of the sport. Everyone thinks swimming isn't necessarily a young sport, but it is. And it's similar to gymnastics in that way. It's very, very young. We saw just in the summer um, at the Olympics, not just in my event, Eight and Free, but in loads of different women's events, there were 15, 16 year olds winning. And it was just, it's just the nature of how it's going. It is a very, very young sport. And I can't really compare when a girl's 15 to when I'm 23, your body changes. I've been doing the work for over 10 years. It takes its toll on your body. And my body definitely needs more rest and recovery now. You and I both know that if you're a woman and you know, you're in the public eye, you get a lot of insults, very personal, very hard abuse, really. How hard have you found that over the years? Um, it's been something that's taken a long time to get used to. Um, I just didn't understand it. I, I still don't understand it and will never understand it because I would never, ever send a nasty insult, insult to somebody. But that's me, personally. I'm not that character. I'm not that type of person. I wouldn't do it to somebody who I know or who I have dislike for, let alone somebody that I've never even met or know nothing about, I'd never do it. And it's just part and parcel of it. And I think it is being a woman. Unfortunately, that is the sad thing. You are gonna get judged. And at first I didn't understand it because I was like, hold on, I swim, I'm not a model. I'm not trying to be anything else. I just swim and people weren't judging me on my swimming, they were judging me on the way I look. And it is something that is just, totally bizarre. I was kind of like, why? I, I'm, I just get in the pool. What does it matter what I look like um, when I'm diving in? Has it in any way informed your decision today? No, not at all. It had played no part in it at all. It's at the end of the day, I've always been the most confident person in water because I know that I've worked hard and done well and that's where I've gained all my confidence from. I'm very, very different in normal life. I'm a lot more insecure as a person outside of water when it comes to not being swimming, but that never has played a part when I've walked around poolside. I know that I'm confident because I've done the hard work, I've put all the, the time and effort in. Who's the Becky Adlington of the future? Um, anyone, it, I think hopefully I've proved that anyone can achieve their dreams if you put your mind to it. I'm just a girl from Mansfield, no one thought I would do it and yet I've done it. So hopefully anyone can be the next me if they love it enough and work hard enough.